Good evening, FASA. My name is Ruben Santos. I am a biology major, a soccer player, a tennis player, and a college student, just like the rest of you. And I am standing here today before you as a potential VP for next year. Before I start this speech, I just wanted to ask you guys a little something. Why is a building called a building if it's done already? Why is it not called built? <laughs> Keep, keep this in mind towards the end of my speech. Okay, let's start the speech with one Fasa is family. Fasa is family. Thank you. I just, I just, I just wanted to hear a last hurrah at this year's sports court. And as a final goodbye to my position, I'd like to share with you a story that happened during my year at sports court. Yes, we didn't have D6 basketball. But as mentioned before, it did come with it some problems and dis disagreements. To put it short, the players didn't agree with Sui and I and how we ran practices, and because they were not used to it. Um, but in the end, we, we came up with a solution that would be both okay for the players and eboard and Sui and I as sports courts. Um, I, even though we didn't have the tournament and I felt like the conflict was a waste of time and energy. I know it was important for me as an individual and important for the values that this org strives to portray. Before I talk about why I wanted to run for VP, I wanted to state my responsibilities as VP if and only if I did become elected. To oversee cultural aspects of FASA, to recruit and retain members through the Atikuri Auditing Program, to manage fundraising events, to manage committees within a group, to manage public relations for FASA, to manage and develop events and projects, and to assume the presidential position if needed. And now to talk about why I wanted to run for VP. At first, I was thinking about running, but I was unsure. And that's because I'm not used to being in a position of leadership. But after a year of eboard, I gained quite a bit of confidence and received some wise words from other members of this org. I want to run for VP because I want to continue my growth with all of you guys and the new incoming members also. I want to continue my growth while also giving you guys a reason to come back, not just for the events, but also for the people. After a semester of interning and working with Bea, uh, I have learned a lot about what it takes to be in a position as big as this one. Bay was an awesome VP this year, and even if she's not here to hear this, I always want to aspire to be like her on the same level of charisma and confidence that she always shows. For next year, I want to lay out some changes I'd like to see for next semester, and also things that I like to keep. What I do want to change, first and foremost, is eboard. Not the entirety of it, but I believe that eboard should be a strong foundation because an org has to have a strong and stable foundation while also keeping the goal in mind, the general body members and its events. Semi did have its share of stress. Pisahan had its share of losses. And eboard is an absent from this list. I want to start next year's eboard with strong relationships and trust. I want everyone to be on the same page. And yes, sometimes procrastination or Filipino time can be helped, but I do want to minimize its magnitude. Communication is also an important part of being in a team. One thing I always tell people is that when you're in a relationship, whether it's your family or friend or um, family friend or your significant other is that if a conflict arises, it should be um, addressed eventually. It doesn't have to be immediately an hour later or the day later, but it's important to eventually um, address it so that the peace and trust can be reestablished and then the goal can be clear again. 
Regarding the approach of our events and the way we cater to the general body members, I want to hopefully close the gap between seniors and freshmen, especially. I do want, I don't want either, either side to be intimidated or even thinking, why would I even want to make friends with them because I'm leaving soon, so what's the point? Yes, it's probably going to be a struggle. And, but I do hope to increase upperclassmen attendance at events. I'm not looking for a full house comprising of equal members from each class, but because that might be asking for too much, I'm looking for a little more effort because that's the important thing. One of my responsibilities is also upholding the meaning of the Filipino culture. Being Filipino isn't just about lumpia or pihon or adobo. It's also about giving respect, having good hospitality, and showing that you do actually care. I want to help spread the Filipino culture through an idea I had recently. It might sound ghetto, but I haven't came up with a name for it yet, but let's just call it for now Filipino 101. Uh, it's kind of a bi, like a bi-weekly hangout that would resemble like a lecture course or discussion class, similar to the ones you all are taking next semester. It would comprise of lectures, activities, and worksheets that would focus on the Filipino culture like food, language, history, and many other aspects of their culture. It will be interactive and engaging, and I am also hoping to add another event into it, um, but I haven't thought about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just a rough idea, so don't judge me for it. Another thing I wanted to tweak was the Atikuya adding program. I hope to minimize the level of clickiness that FASA is always painted with. The Atikuya adding program, for me, was very enjoyable. enjoyable. It brought me closer to someone that I only knew a little bit last year, and now him and his girlfriend are on double date. But on top of that, it also connected me to someone that will take my position at sports course next year. On a different note, I want to have pairings more randomized while still keeping in mind the similarities and commonalities between the Atikuya and Ari. I am hoping to have a system where similar interests are grouped together and the pairs are chosen based on those groups. So it's not who you want to have or who you will have. So it's kind of still um, controlled, but still random. The Atikui Adding Program's main goal is for new members to have someone to rely on and trust. It's also for the Ate and Kuya to have someone to mentor and to show the members that FASA is really worth staying and growing with. On the flip side, ideas and things I wanted to keep this semester are the collaborations with other orgs. Even though it may have been a struggle, it was, also, it was always heartwarming to see different cultures in one place enjoying the same activity. I also wanted to keep and expand on an idea that Bea had. Bea was thinking of making a website for the Atikui Auding program to make it easier to navigate through the lineages. I want to make Atikui Auding program more interactive and more of a fun process by being able to figure out who is part of their family or who they are connected to. This is what the Atikui Auding program is about. The chance to connect to FASA members that came before you. It brings opportunities and friendships that would otherwise be absent from their lives. For next year, I hope to keep the amount of appreciation that eBoard showed to its members this year. I want to not only give new members a reason to stay, but also give returning members a reason to come back. This is how I will hopefully fulfill one of my duties as VP to recruit and retain members whether they're complete strangers or close friends. I pride myself in the effort that I give to at least know a little thing about every person, even as little as their name. 
because even the smallest appreciation goes a long way. Yes, I'm aware that I am one of the more soft-spoken candidates for vice president. I may seem like I play around too much, and I may lack the confidence that is needed for this position, but I do intend to continue my growth. I always keep in mind something that was said to me. E-board is a growing process and that people are either born with the skill to lead or have to work their way up to it. Whether you think I was born with it or I have to work up to it, I'm standing in front of you today to show that I am willing to stand up to that challenge. Regardless whether I win or not, I hope that I have made an impact on you this year, whether it was just a small laugh or something that influenced you for the better. Think of all the in experiences and interactions you had with me. I hope it was genuine and weird because <laughs> that's what matters the most, not just a Q&A and the speech. So not going back to my joke from the beginning. A building isn't called built because just like eboard, it's always changing and improving to be something better. And I want to be part of that something better. not happening or the conflicts? Which just one? like, well, just like saying, not like, I guess like, since, I don't know how to phrase it. I mean, the way I see it is like, having all that work into D6 basketball, and then like, not having good food, what's something, like, if that were to happen again, what's a way you could like, solve that? So like, make sure you guys have efforts for that huge event you've ever been going through to not fall short. I don't know if that's where you're going. Yeah, so. Okay. okay. Um, it was after long, long weeks and days of asking the D6 reps about if the event was still happening. It was kind of hard to keep going because people were the other e-board members were encouraging us to hold like a another event that would be similar to it, kind of just like a basketball tournament for only for FASA, so so that the players feel like they came out to practice for something. It was Sui and I kind of I guess gave up on it. I know that doesn't sound doesn't sound good on our part and that's I just just honestly that's our our bad like we just but in the future hopefully from from that experience I can learn that because even before anyone told um suggested to run a small scale thing I didn't think of it. So learning from that is that even if something falls down, there's always something to cre create from that little thing. Even if it's not as big scale, I think the players and the members would appreciate it. Watching and maybe playing, it. it's not that serious. So. Since you're running for future VP, what do you deal with like maybe a bad idea that the president, mm. <laughs> with Kevin, Charlotte, and Wathaya, they have. Will you be okay with confronting them about this bad idea? Or just like voicing your opinion, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Choose your words carefully. Uh, I'm. I'm not really a talkative, like in general, a talkative person unless you know me, but in general, I'm not really a talkative person, so whenever, whenever I do say something and it's important, I like to make sure that it's set in stone and that 
they do hear me, even if m maybe in the end they don't change it because they really want to push for it. I'm not afraid to go up to them and say, uh, there's some holes in there, or maybe this will be better because there's always something to improve with two minds instead of one, or, much I think the important thing is reaching out even if it might not do a lot reaching out personally message like all the the other candidates also said reaching out to them individually with my message or just in person or maybe thinking about who if one person is not that active or another person active, thinking about those those aspects of the different kinds of pairs. Because if one person active, then it might encourage the other one to come. Because there's kind of like a title to Ate Kuya, so like Ate Kuya Aden, so it's kind of like it's not really an obligation, but it kind of pushes you to come to events if your if your pair is there and other pairs have their pair, but you're not there, so you kind of feel bad. It doesn't really like force you to go, but it encourages you more because it's it's just to help like make the make your pair feel like you're there for them. Um, okay, so let's say um, let's say the one stay up and not Kevin. Um, how what are you trying to say? I'm just kidding. Why not Kevin or Sean? Because Kevin's like super confident over here that it's not going to be normal. Okay, exactly, exactly. You just asked her. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway um, how, how, do you, how do you handle working alongside her, especially the fact that you're vice president of Chief President? What are you trying to say? Was my campaign power? Uh, the fact that, that if, if, if assuming they would be uh, president, um, how would they work together? Even though they've been on e board, e board, even though you guys been in e board together before, now it's president vice president. You're going to be working more closely together. Um, how how do you go about that? How do you go about um, uh, working through the fact that uh, your personal relationship and like your relationship through e board? Um, I. So like in my speech, right, I said the when the problem arises, you should like address it. That's something I practice on like a weekly basis. Okay. <laughs> so only weekly. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do not emphasize it. We, like it's something that I always keep in mind, even if it's hard to confront it, and that. Both of you might not be not talking to each other, but I, because yes, it's it will be an obstacle, and it will it will be part of that challenge to run to run a new board close close in proximity, vice president and president. But um, it's just something that you have to work through. It's something that you need to say to yourself. Make sure you can still work together because it's a different face for Ibor and different face for her boyfriend. So it's okay. Thanks. In your opinion, what is Fox's biggest problem? 
not being able to follow, how are you going to fix that problem? That is key. More ideas of how to fix that problem. Um, I think all of us can say process is not I what? think just in general, even if people always say this, so but so someone means it's like primordial, that fossa is like kind of clicky, but to put it short, they're clicky. And it intimidates other them other Maybe other ORs and other Filipinos that are not part of this company. Um, to address it, I think it's important to um, say hi. So if people come to an event that they're there for the first time and you see them in the hallway or at the conference, I think it's important to just say, say hi, to, to show them that you remember them from that one event, and that um, there's many events for many other people, sports, um, mental mental games, um, and Ataku Yohaneng, and other food events, many events for them to come to, and I think just taking that first step of saying hi can go a long way. Because even hi every single day will be like, oh, it's that guy, that's my guy. And then eventually you'll introduce yourself and then maybe you'll get some or maybe you'll just stay out. I have a follow-up question. So since you're VP, you're part, like you're pretty much the head for the Optic Audit program. And I remember hearing from a general body member for that that cookiness that you talked about could sometimes stem from that AKA program. So how would do you like disagree or like agree with that like statement? Why? Um, I, did you get like, did you get yeah, any yeah, yeah. I so, yeah, um, yeah. or like why is that a thing? And if it is a thing, how are you going to improve the program in order to change that, what you said was a problem? It's a thing because it tends to be that pairs usually congregate in the same, the same like area or the same place in a weekly basis. Or that, that pair also have, has a group of friends that they go to and then there is no other chance for another pair or another person to, I guess, join that group, because it's kind of hard to join a group that's already established. Um, I think implementing different solar for the fossil pencils this year, there were some challenges that were implementing other pairs into your pair also. So I think that will help, um, I guess, a little bit into getting to know another pair or other people that are usually not with you, like not interacting with you. And um, just encouraging um, the active and inactive members to intermingle, not just with active members. Like, not just active to active members, but like also to active members and inactive members. So if everyone has a thing to contribute, not just active members. You talked about building a team and on um, eboard. Well, you, you, it's not always going to be all sunshine and rainbows, so there might be lack of communication. People not saying what they are they they should be doing and just other issues. How do you how what would you do in the situation where that team and communication trust isn't there? How do you move that? Um first first thing I would do would probably be talk to the president and um, and 
gauge her opinion, her or his opinion, um, so we can come up with a solution together. So we can tackle the problem you know, in the best way possible. And listening to both sides of the conflict and both sides of the people seeing the conflict and coming up with a solution will hopefully um, solve that because yes, not everything will be solved, but at least to a point that um, working together is for a VP is also to delegate the tasks to its board to give other members, if they're on standby on not doing anything, even if it's not part of the role, I feel like they should be able to help you. So if I'm not able to do it, I could pass it on to 
anyone that anyone that would um, be available, treasurer, secretary, PR, and anyone that is willing to help and is not um, jumbled with all the other responsibilities that, that they have. So this goes on for like Charlotte's question of like you want that toy. So um, knowing you personally, you kind of been at this, but like public communication and just like being on your own and taking charge. What makes you better than Lauren in terms of being able to, as vice president, you know, you have to like be a leader. You have to be on your own and be in charge of the whole organization when the president is not available. You're like the second in command. So as a person who has that high position, how do you fare against Lauren in terms of that? Um, like, what makes you better? I don't know how Lauren is worth ethic, ethic wise, but as I said before, I don't like. I don't like standing by not doing anything, even if sometimes, yes, I do do that, but I personally don't like it. Um, sports cores and, and VP isn't the same position. VP is, has so much more to it, so much more of a bigger bigger position than sports core. Uh, I don't know what I have over her, because I don't really know how she does leading something, but I know that I have the drive to to learn and to try to be more of a more of a presence on in events or EBMs or general body number general body meetings. Just just trying to go out of my comfort box to use my loud voice instead of my quiet voice to to do it myself instead of asking Sui to get everyone. Just the effort to try it myself instead of asking someone else. Why vice president? Why vice president? Yeah, what made you decide to pick vice president? <laughs> did, he already, did he already say this? That was in his whole speech. That was, that was in his speech, speech man. All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, any other questions? All right, thank you, Ruben.